Hello and welcome to version 11 of Cabmaster Software. This is going to be a bit of a preview of, of some of the new features that are coming out. The first thing we need to point out is the layout has slightly changed. Uh, we now have a breadcrumb bar up here, which I'll get to later on. This is possibly the biggest change. Um, the layout has also changed with these buttons. Uh, that now says you know, plan elevation, now says the words instead of having images that it had previously. Um, and the template shows us the pages down here. We have templates and highlights which page we're on, which is nice and neat and tidy. Just going to grab a standard floor, two door. We now have a sidebar. This is a really nice feature. So if I put a, another cabinet down next to this, select this one. These are the properties of this cabinet. So you can very quickly jump between these. So I can come into this one and say, let's make this cabinet 900. This cabinet's now 900 wide. I can move it across. Let's move this across by 500 to the right. And it'll now move that cabinet 500 mil across. So there's a few things you can do quite happily with things like that. Um, and you can click between. It shows you the, which cabinet you're on and what it looks like. The other one is the cabinet front. If I was to rotate this cabinet, 25 degrees and I can now say with this one here this is I'm going to move to the right with it from the cabinet front so if I go here that cabinet is now moving parallel to the cabinet if you hit the button in the middle this is now going to be relative to the page so it's now going to be 500 mil directly east so it's no longer moving parallel it's moving uh, east on the on the page so that's how you can change it from the page to the cabinet properties uh, re moving relative to the the cabinet or the page. Uh, put it back. So it's just a quick, simple way to actually to move some cabinets around. So that's a really nice feature having having that in there. Now, next page we've got. You can so you can turn this one here off and on by just clicking this button here. We can open the cabinet properties. This bit has remained the same at this point. So this is exactly the same as previous. What we can now do, if you hold the top of it, you got this little marker on the side here which you can say, I want to dock over to the side here. Okay, we now dock this window here. So the preview, um, preview bar has gone, so you can't actually see the cabinet anymore. Um, but what it lets us do here is we can now go into um, the cabinet properties. So we can still do everything we want to do in here. What you can do is you can now come into editing the parts. You can go into the view editor. It gives you a slightly different editor now in here. If you undock the page, uh, it'll have this again editing in the, um, the the preview window. If not, you've now actually accessed it through this breadcrumbs. So I've gone back to the cabinet. So in here, you drop on the little arrow. I can see I've got two cabinets. This is the cabinet we're looking at in here. These are all the parts of the cabinet. So you don't need to actually go through this view here. So I can go back to normal page here. I can go, I want to view the end left of this cabinet. This is a very different editor. What this lets us do in here is firstly, you can see I've got a little padlock hovering to the right of my icon. You can click on the part and hit the unlock button. That unlocks this part for editing. It's no longer gonna be directly controlled from the cabinet, but what we can now do is something like, um, let's go here, right click and go chamfer corner. And I can literally drag this down here. You've got hot keys. So the number keys, one, two, three, four, all the way up. So two will give me a 200 mil chamfer. Three will give me a 300 mil chamfer. Then I just click on the screen. That's giving me a 300 mil chamfer. So it's very quick and easy to do things like that. So this is a new editor in version 11. This is where it starts to get really exciting because we've now got some CAD tools in here. So I can grab the polygon and go from here to here. Yeah, just do something really silly. You can draw anything you like in here. So um, I was going to grab that away from the edge. And same with this one here, bring this in a little bit more. Uh, I can move this around anywhere I want. So I've just drawn a cut out there. You can actually do proper rectangles. You can dimension the sizes of them if you like. Um, circles, you can add in bore, uh, draw bores or multi bore. So this is going to be for a single hole or a multi hole. So this is a multi bore with the shelf holes. The beauty of doing this, is I can now go back to um, the cabinet or the page. So I'm going to go back to the page. This is at the part edit level. 
So I'm in left of the floor two door on page one. So I'm going to just click on page one. So I can grab this cabinet here. I'm just moving it out because I did it on the left hand side. So you're going to see what I've done. So I go to textured view and we now have that cut out available in textured view. So we can now draw up anything we like. And actually, and there's a chamfer, of course. So we can do any any shape we like and cut it out and it actually now comes through live on the uh, in the 3D as well. So that's another new feature as of um, version 11. So I can go back into that cabinet. So I can go here, so into this one. Um, and I can go back into that part again, go end left. I can see exactly what I've drawn up in there. You can click on the holes, you can edit the holes. Uh, same as we could before, but we've got a lot more features in here, what we can actually do with these holes now. So you double click, it comes up with these. I can change the diameter, change the depth, change offsets, change the color of them if I really want to. So there's a whole lot of things you can actually do in here. Um, so it makes it a whole lot more flexible. The machining side in, in version 11 is a whole lot more flexible. So just remember when you're in this editor, always go back to the cabinet or the page. Generally, the page takes you back to what you used to, the, plan, the standard plan view in Cabmaster, that is the page. Uh, once you're inside here, you click on the, you get into the cabinet. Once you go into the cabinet, you're, in, you're actually in a different editor from what we've ever had from version 10.1 previous versions. This is a, ne a new area, so you need to go back to page one whenever you wanna go back to the standard plan. One of the next things which I really do like is for this exercise, I'm going to throw in a wall. Now, all the icons have changed. That's another thing as well. We've updated the icons to make them look better. So a wall tool now actually looks like a brick wall. Add a wall to there. I'm going to move these across because they're going to be, just give me a little bit more room. Right click, auto elevation. So there's an elevation of that. What I am going to do is insert, or annotate. I'm going to elevations. I'm going to manually add an elevation line. So I'm holding down shift and just dragging an elevation line there, and I'm going to place the elevation right here. So what we're going to do with this one, just something a little bit different. First, I'm going to go into the draw and make it a four draw. So I've now got a four draw unit here. If I go to annotate, I go to call out, and this is where I can actually just drag a box over that section there and drag another box up here larger and it will give me a blow up section of that section of what I've just looked at. Now you can go into here and format item. I quite like changing the things in here, make them look a little bit better. Um, arrow at end, arrow at start, so that shows you an arrow what's going on to there. So there's things you can change in here. So you got your source style, let's make that a little bit bigger, let's make it rounded, let's make it red. So we do that destination. Again, I do exactly the same thing again, make it round and make it red. It makes it stand out a little bit better. And the line along the way is also going to be the same color red. That just makes it look a bit, little bit neater on the, on the plan. And there's other things you can change in here as well, where you want arrows or those sorts of things. So I quite like it like that. Uh, that's a call out. So you can do call outs and blow up things. You can do it on anything at all. Uh, it just looks better on these elevations if you want more detail in a, in a certain area. The next one you can do in this same area is you go into 3D. So we can see our cabinet here. Now we don't have many in this, much in this cabinet, in this drawing, it's very, very simple. But what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna choose the angle I want, say add camera and draw a line, a box, and say, that's the camera view I actually want. And what you can also do here is choose something a little bit different. I'm just being silly right now. Add a camera and do something different as camera number two. So if I go back to plan, I can go to cameras and grab camera one and go, place camera view there. Now that's now a live view, whoops, <laughs> that's a live view of what's actually happening here. So if I move that cabinet, that cabinet now changes into 3D on the plan view as well. So I'm going to go put my snaps back to none to see the snap points have minimized. So as you can see, 
the elevation updates, the 3D updates, it's all live whenever I'm changing anything. Um, I can click on this cabinet here and go open the doors. And you can see the doors actually open in 3D as well. So that's quite a cool thing to have there with, where you've got your call outs. Here's a new menu here called annotate and under here we have symbols. Now these things here, this can be something very simple just for you know, adding notations to things. Um, you know, you can do these sorts of things. They're literally a, an image, but you can actually draw it up. Uh, the beauty is you can actually draw something up. So you could draw up a, a rectangle, you know, whatever shape it is you actually like. You can highlight these together and go use as graphic symbol. So you can actually add your own up to, up to there uh, and it'll actually generate it in the in the palette. And you can delete this and then you can actually call, call it back. You've got to save it and you can call it back for, for later use. It's not a bad thing for notation so you can have anything it can be an image it can be an oven can be just a, a logo it can be anything you like in there so they're just um, just symbols so they're quite a handy thing to have another new feature we've got is if you're just drawing a rectangle um, this one here you can say this this part here on the a4 plan is only it's 56 by 46 millimeters approximately. But if I look at it in a world view, this is how big it is in the actual one-to-one -one size relative to these cabinets and things. So you've got a world a world view. Um, so if I want to make this say one, one meter by 1500, that's now exactly one meter by 1500 in the real world. But on the actual page, it's only 50 by 33 millimeters. So you've got this new page and world. You also got the measurements up here as well, which way, whichever you want to work in. Another new feature, right click F9 or options F9, you can now snap to a DXF. So if you want to import a DXF, and I've just got a very, very simple DXF on my desktop, it's just a rectangle. Let's scale it up 10 times. So here's my DXF down here. Another really cool feature we've got, I just keep deleting other things, is you can now multiple select cabinets, copy, and paste. So now you can actually multiple select and duplicate things on a uh, multi select and du duplicate multiple selections of things. So that's a, a really nice feature if you've got half, half of something done, you want to duplicate that instead of one at a time. Another really nice feature out of all of these things through here, anything at all on the, uh, what we call the ribbon toolbar, which is this section here and all, all of these pages. If you want to use this regularly, you can right click on this and go add a quick access toolbar, which is now down here. So I've now got a, so I can add that, go add the quick access toolbar and there's a light, there's the wall. So I click on that wall. Yes, I want a new one. Um, there's a new wall. So you can add whatever you like to this quick access toolbar. If you want to right click on dimension, add the quick access toolbar. Um, even these symbols, you can select symbols, you can select um, anything at all you like. If it's a camera thing you want to keep adding in, um, place camera view, there's your camera on toolbar. So there's a lot of things you can actually add onto your toolbar.